in the kitchen with Michael Latronica and Chef Robert Latronica from Wheeler's Restaurant. Welcome back, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us again. How, how many times have you been on CT Style now? I think this I think is four six. or five. Six? Yeah. Okay. Six, so yeah. longer than I've been hosting the show. That's good. Uh, so today we're making a... <laughs> it's okay, a... kid. I'll take you yeah. to do this. Yeah, okay. it's, it's all right there, uh, show stop. <laughs> now, today we're making a, uh, a, a vegetable... Pot pie. Pot pie. Okay, yep. I've, I've never seen this made before, so this will be interesting. What are some of the main ingredients that we're going to be so working with? So, actually, it's a pretty simple recipe. We start with some apple, which I got going in the pan, and some butter. Mm -hmm. And then here we have uh, rutabagas, carrots, uh, parsnips, and sunchokes. Uh, sunchoke is the root of a special type of uh, sunflower, which okay. is actually really cool. It's not actually an artichoke at all. And they're very healthy, I'm assuming? Yeah, oh, and they have this really the delicious kind of like nutty Earthy apple flavor. It's really flavor, good. Yeah, yeah really. they're tasty. All right. Um, and then here we have Swiss chard, a little bit of cheddar cheese, the house-made herb biscuits, some chive to make it look pretty, and that's about the whole thing. All right, well, let's get yeah. started. Of course, we have the okay. apples right here. Yep. You guys have some uh, great upcoming bands that we can talk about a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, we have uh, we just switched over on Thursday nights to another local band. We do three-month installments of these local bands. This one is Creamery Station. Creamery uh, Station. They're right from uh, Woodbridge, so they have a really nice local following. They're what, great. That's, what's their style? What are they... Uh, they do lots of like classic rock, you know, folk, some folk tunes, all sorts of stuff. They have a couple of different singers. They do, um, you know, uh, the woman Felicia. She's like a oh, she really can, soul she can singer. Tell that. Felicia. Oh, yeah, oh I great. love Felicia. So um, they're Thursday nights, uh -huh. uh, and then Friday and Saturday is just you know different every week. So. And, and then Sunday too, you said, right? Yeah, we do a jazz on brunch on Sunday. So we have a Hammond B3 organ that we have. We take out, and we have a piano player who comes in, and he does. Jazz brunch. Do you guys have to manage all the booking for this? That's a lot of work. I mean, nah, you're, you're running really. the place. Oh, that's, you're, that's you're, you're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so Michael's really the one who works hard. That's what you're saying. Right? Um, yeah, I'd like to think so. Oh, I okay, think yeah. I just cook. Okay. All right, all right. So, so now where are we here in the cooking? You just added a little bit of water. Yeah. So I actually blanched these vegetables off earlier, mm -hmm. so they're like already partially cooked. So all you're really doing with those is bringing them back up to temperature. Um, and then here we have an herb bechamel right over there. Okay. And that's got a. Break that down for. Uh, layman's terms for those of us who So familiar. it's a basic cream sauce. It's one of your mother sauces. And I used a mirepoix, which is celery, onions, and carrots to start. Mm -hmm. You sweat those down in some butter. You add cream, a couple of secret spices, which they're not so secret. You can get the recipe online. <laughs> um, and uh, you puree it up until it's smooth. And that's actually the body of the thing. And I cheat a little bit, and I don't use flour. Because a lot of people that we have at the restaurant are gluten-free. So if you wanted it to be gluten-free, all you got to do is nix the biscuits. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you That's can pretty big now, right? The whole gluten-free oh, yeah. piece there. What's, what's the most popular thing on your menu? Uh, the most popular thing on our menu right now, since we just did the menu change, is probably still our Scottish salmon, which was our most popular dish before. Mm. But now the new menu dishes, people are starting to explore and check out, and so you're going to see some new front runners soon. Okay, and and to pair with those meals, of course, we have some very tasty brews over there, right? Well, what I brought today is uh, all from Oma Gang Brewery in Cooperstown, New York. Uh, we're doing a beer dinner actually this Thursday, the 26th, or actually next Thursday, I guess it would be. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they, um, they're going to send a rep down from, uh, from Oma Gang. They're going to talk about the beers, and we're going to pair them with five different courses. So, um, so do you have to eat all five courses and drink five beers? We don't, or can you, you don't you, have you, you to. You taste it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you want to taste it. There are smaller portions, you know, uh -huh. just to get the idea of the flavor of the beer and how it goes with the, with the food and all that kind of stuff. It'll be, um, you know, probably about $55, and uh, you'll get, you know, um, five eight-ounce beers mm. and five small plates. Those are really popular now, the whole microbrew mm. craze with all the smaller breweries around. Yeah. Es especially here in Connecticut, there's a lot of... Yeah, there's a ton. I mean, we, we, we're right across the street from New England Brewing, which is one of our favorites. But, um, you know, we have Thimble Island from Branford. We have Duvig and a couple of other places, which are all Connecticut breweries. So it's good that you're supporting local business. Oh, yeah. We try, yeah, everywhere we can. Good. Well, especially when you run a local business. You want to support the local exactly, guys, right? Yeah, That's right. great. Exactly. And now so, you're adding a little cheddar there Yeah, to so, you know, you bring, a, you bring the whole sauce up to temperature, make sure everything's fully done. Then I add the biscuits right on top, a little cheddar cheese, because, you know, everyone loves cheese. Oh, yeah, I can't have enough cheese. No, of course not. All righty, and so then the last but not least, you want to pop this in a really hot oven. Okay, which we have back here, Which we of have here. Oh, yeah, I got it. So you have the, uh, the finished dish back there? Oh, no, it'll take, like, 10 seconds. Oh, oh 10 seconds. Just, yeah. got oh. All you really want to do is just melt that cheese up on top. I have baked the biscuits ahead of time. We bake them every day before we start service. Okay. So you got fresh baked biscuits right on top. All right. Well, according to my math, we have three seconds, two seconds, and one. Are, are they done, Robert? Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that magic. Yeah, wow. Yeah, see? Ooh. So, so now how do we eat them? We, uh, we 
we need forks or do we just Oh yeah, well actually at the restaurant we serve it right in the cast iron. Oh, okay. Um, so, so you know, we bring it out, you know, don't touch it obviously cuz right. it'll burn you, but there you go. That's, That's your uh, winter veggie pot pie. Very good. And, and where can we check you out online at, at Wheelers? It's uh, wheelersnewhaven-newhaven.com. All right, very good. Thank you guys again so much for coming in, and uh, we'll have to see you again on the show here soon. And thanks for making such a healthy and hearty meal. Now, up next, it's all about sportsmanship and cooperation and teamwork, of course. The Boys and Girls Club of New Haven, we're going to fill us in on a little upcoming three-on-three -three basketball tournament, guys. I'm going to be playing in it. I don't know how well I'll do, but... It's okay. You got the ups. You're going to